check out this idea for uh, and, uh, uh, bleh. Here's one more thing I did with my pendant. Uh, bleh. Hey folks, Organite Austin here. I forgot who tipped me off to the idea of using female hair follicles in Organite, but to that person I thank you. That has led me to a whole nother world. Thank you. Um, enzymatic, electromagnetic, encode mint is different than encoding. Traditional organite uses uh, just quartz, and that is the pro that electromagnetic field is the process of encoding your enzymes to do what they need to do. But what if we take your enzymes and put them inside of the organite? It's going to change the field. So, I've been doing some experiments. All right, enzymes. Let's see: squirrel hair follicles, female hair follicles, dog hair follicles. And they're all female. Female squirrel, female human, female dog. And I also have a uh, red-tailed hawk feather. I also have a tree called Palo Santo. Okay? I played with bark and I played with Palo Santo. Palo Santo is insanely grounding. Okay? So, we've got one with uh, just dog hair, just squirrel hair, just human hair, just feathers. And then we started doing combinations. And we've got one with uh, human and dog hair. Got one with, uh, where are they? Squirrel hair and human hair. One with squirrel hair, human hair, and dog hair. One with just the tree. One with just the hawk feather, oh yeah. Um, one with the hawk feather, human, dog, female squirrel. One just like that, plus the tree. We've also got one female, one male, which is mine, and one male, which was just mine. We've also got some with just ants, okay? Now, we've also got rocks right here, okay? This, these two both have golden azestulite, moldavite, zincite, cinnabar. But this one has all of this stuff. Oh, I need to put some wood in there. All of this stuff. So you see the experiments that I'm playing with. Um, oh yes, encode mint is different than encoding. This is encode mint because you're using the enzymes to encode the electromagnetic field. Uh, everything has quartz and blue kyanite. Absolutely everything has quartz and blue kyanite. And it looks like, oh yeah, and everything also has black tourmaline and selenite. So far my standard is clear quartz and blue kyanite. I believe I'm going to be able to have the funds to inc incorporate selenite and black kyanite as a standard for everything as well. So that's what I intend. Alright, I'm intending it. Quartz, blue kyanite, selenite, black tourmaline in all of them. So, here's my experiments. I'll let you know how they... Oh yeah, here's the necklaces that I'm making out of them. These are little tea cups. Tea light. Plastic tea lights. And I had to drill a hole in the bottom so that I could poke them out. And then I put some tape over that hole so the organite wouldn't fall out. So originally I just poured a bottom mold on all of these. And then I started laying the different kind of hair follicles on top of that first layer. Because I don't have the time to do the codes while it's hardening. So now I'm going to pour another layer on top. Here we are a day later. They're all finished. 1 through 20. They've all been labeled. So now I've got a friend going to come over and give me an energetic analysis of them all. I am very fortunate to have a friend who is very energetically aware. She is actually the one who identified the fact that different pieces of organite network energies together. Such as if you have a room full of organite that's just quartz and you bring in one piece that has blue kyanite, all of them will act like blue kyanite. She discovered that. Uh, she's, so she came over, she went through all of them, and she gave me her energetic analysis of it. And here we go. She's not going to know what ingredients are used to make each piece until after she gives me her description of how it feels.
It's interesting. Um, you know, I have a, a for respiratory infection and things are opening up around the area where I have the infection, a for respiratory infection. You mean because of that feel, piece? Yeah, I think I should feel lightening up and, and kind of like the space is getting broader in, that, in my chest area, upper chest. You don't think it's because you're holding it there, do you? No, I'm holding in my hand. Okay, okay. Yeah, breathing's easier with this piece. Um, this piece is um, kind of quiet and solemn. Do you know what I mean? Okay, okay. It, it has a quietness, a solemn... It's not a piece that um, you get it, that gets excited <laughs> or uh, it's very like uh, salt of the earth kind of um, piece to me. Okay. Okay. Um, can you tell me what it is or not yet? Yeah. 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 What is it? Female human hair. Ooh. Yes. The. Um, now that calmness thing you say, <clears throat> that does not come from the person. That comes from the female human hair follicles. Because I've used that with more. I've used more than one individual's type of hair, and it's all had the same general effect. I haven't been able to notice. And do other do other people say the same result as me? Yeah. You're kidding. And that it's like not. It's not real exciting or. No, yeah. it's like a. Yes. Huh. Very stable. Yeah, very stable, solid, still, but kind of wavy like a gentle ocean. Gentle, quick. Mm -hmm. But yeah. very stable, very still. Yes, very, very stable. Yeah, breathing's easier with this piece. Um, number two, number two. This one is a lot more energizing. Um, <laughs> and it actually, I can feel my energy going out my head, you know, like kind of like out of my body, like there's a whole boom out to the, back out to the universe. Okay. Saying, hi, universe. Okay. Um, this is a piece you would want to wear if you're going to go do a, a jog. To kind of keep you moving, like running. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, running, jogging, any kind of exercise. It'll keep you. Um, it'll energize you, and, uh, and and it'll actually feel very natural to let that channel that energy into exercise with a piece like this. Um, wow, and the energy is going up, up, <laughs> up, up. Cool. But it's funny because it's up, 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 but it's not a like a like high energy. It's high energy, but you still feel you you don't feel like quite as grounded as you felt with the other piece. Okay. But you do, but you don't feel like you're float gonna float up and up, up and away. It's okay. Almost, okay. It's kind of the the kind of um, energy that for me is um, there's a there's a like I said, it's like a big goal, you know, going after something. <laughs> Determination. Yeah. Straight forward after it. And there is no stopping this dog, I tell you that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's dog hair. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's female dog hair. <laughs> oh my god, female humans and dogs are so different. <laughs> God. Wow. I always knew I wasn't a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Wow. wow. That's so amazing. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm two for two, huh? Yeah, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is more stabilizing. But it's interesting. It's not as stable as the first one. But what happens is the energy starts to go down. It's like it's going from a solar plexus down in a circular fashion. Okay. So it's not, 
I guess I would say it's at least trying to go to the ground. Gotcha. Uh, let's see what else it says. You know, it's kind of funny. I feel a little sadness with this. Really? Yeah. Strange. Or maybe it's my issue to whatever this stone is about. So different from the dog hair, which was like, woof! Woof! Mm. <laughs> woof! <laughs> this is, um... Yeah, it's kind of tunneling into the earth. It's, it's tunneling and drilling. And, uh... Yeah, there's something about the energy of this that just feels a little off to me. I, I can't really put my finger on it. It's, um, it feels like there's a little bit of a sadness or depression around it. I don't know why that is. Okay, um, get rid of that thing and see if that sadness is still yours. Or whatever you like. Now I can feel my energy going out like this. Okay, okay, okay. Are so is it just somebody else who put, are you, are you put energy on it? Oh, uh, we'll get that. Um, are you finished with that? I one? am. Okay, that one is the first two combined, human hair and dog hair. Same human, same dog. Huh. And it doesn't know which way it's going. <laughs> what do you mean, the energy? Well, yeah, it was weird. It was weird. Okay. Has anybody else said that? Uh... It's, I've gotten a, 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 the high current, the, the explanation that you've gotten, that you gave from number two, just dog hair. But the number three seems to have way more influence on doing whatever it's doing than just the human hair or just the dog hair. Mm. That's what I have seemed to know. But you put a flavor and emotion to whatever it's going on, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It does a lot of it. Um, would you agree with the uh, the high energy current of that previous one? It of three, yeah. There was a current. It was going just like okay. this, drilling down. Okay. That's but was it funny? Was I felt this like um, like um, here? I'll hold. I won't hold this yet. A minute. Let me get you to the other one. Um, no. Okay. What I felt was it kind of felt like. You know, yeah, yeah, kind of like a. Uh, let me try. Hold it one more time. Just want to kind of see that. Hello, number three. Number three. Three, three, three. You know what? The human overpowers the the dog. Okay. And it drills down into the earth, and. I think maybe it's partially my reaction that the dog thing is so joyous and the human kind of puts a little downer on it. <laughs> oh, well, you know what? That makes sense, actually. Because dogs are pure, happy joy. Yeah. Joy. And humans. Yeah. And so it, it didn't feel quite... It kind of felt like it was bringing down that happiness, like separating mm. from it. Next experiment is a hair off of the happy child. Oh. Female. Okay, let's see that one. So, oh, I mean, I don't have that, but that's my idea that you just gave me. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Let me cleanse my hands. Let me cleanse my palm palate. Mm. So interesting. I'm glad you're having fun with it. I do. I think it's fascinating. Cool. All right, number four. Number four. This one is uh, very peaceful for me. Peaceful and yet, um, kind of, it's peaceful yet kind of energizing at the same time, but not in a real, like, hyper way. It's more, um, being present and aware. Uh, 
Um, and the image I got was walking. It's like walking your walk. Kind of talking your talk. A little bit of attitude. Um, or uh, no, shining like integrity, and integrity. Okay, okay. Like it's real straight and... Okay. It pulsates a little bit more than the others. Or it makes me pulsate. What is it? Squirrel hair. Female squirrel. Oh, now that, interesting. That peaceful and that walking with integrity and that presence and that awareness, though, that's a lot like a, care, like a squirrel if you sit and watch them. You know? They sit there, they look at everything, they just kind of sit there and watch. You're right. You know? Me too. Um, they are very peaceful, especially when you see them just kind of laying in a tree. And just laying down. I I was in a tree and one came laid next to me and they were really comforting. Aww. Um, so curious. Present and aware and integrity and pulsates. Well, they are like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you are awesome, man. Thank you. I'm gonna that's have to delete really that. Aw that's really cool. It's, I mean, I'm just like really amazed that I can feel those distinctions.